What's up, YouTuber? Just want to make a little quick video right here about this uh, removal of the intake on the BMW 325i uh, 2006 N52 engine. <clears throat> um, it really ain't that hard. It's just a few things that you got to keep in mind to look out for when you're taking it off. Uh, let me just show you what's going on here. Basically, when you are removing the engine, you have these bolts up here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> six bolts on the top. This hose, you do not have to remove this hose right here. It goes right here, it's connected together. You do have to take out the clip right here. So the first thing you can remove these bolts. Uh, you can also remove. You can remove the throttle. Four screws. There's a plug. There's also a hose right here on the side. You remove that also. <coughs> remove this uh, plug on top over here. This one right here. And then uh, this bracket. You don't have to take the bracket out. Well, you can just slide off the, uh, the little electrical connector box that you have there. The module. <clears throat> and then we have one hose that go down here on the bottom over here. That goes from this part to the top of the uh, valve cover. So you remove that right there. Uh, there is another little bolt on the top. <coughs> right here <coughs> this is where the gas line is connected just remove that little bracket right there and then you have <coughs> another bracket over here the big holes here actually this is the one that goes to the uh, to the valve cover on top and the other one goes around from there it goes around to the back over here into this part right here don't know if you can see it but uh, right here so you gotta remove this one here, and this is actually when you when you pull the whole when you remove these top screws and then you pull it back, you'll be able to get access to all this right here in the back. So make sure you remove this and this one. If they break, you have to replace them, unless you can fix them, get them fixed or whatever. But uh, also you have some connectors over here, electrical connectors. We have one, two, three, four. The black one, <clears throat> the black one, you do not have to remove the black one. Well, there's another black one right here. That one you have to remove, and then you have to remove the other two. So three of them you have to remove, uh, the first three. And I will take a picture of it because you have two set of browns, and you don't want to mix them up. Uh, basically, that's it. Once you pull those off, you can just take the whole intake off. It ain't really... It ain't really hard at all. I took it off a few times already. I'm doing this uh, <clears throat> this head gasket on this on this car right here. I bought the car, and uh, the lady I bought it from said the the uh, serpentine belt went into the intake. I don't know how we got into the intake, but it was kind of hard to believe. I bought the car expecting to change the engine if I had to, but uh. When I opened it up, I seen the timer was off. Someone did the head gasket already. And uh, they didn't do a good job. They broke a few bolts on it. So I have to do it over. <coughs> uh, also, the belt was inside of the engine. So I'm going to have to take the oil pan off, clean the, clean out the oil pan, clean, see if I can get all the belt out of it as much as possible. Flush the engine out. <coughs> Uh, yeah, basically, I'll make another video when I get the head off, but it's basically, it's not, it's not really hard at all. Well, I just wanted to make a short video about taking off this intake. It takes you about half hour. Take it off completely. 
and that's about it folks till the next video if you like what uh what you've seen or anything beneficial to you with the video just subscribe and uh i will be making more videos i'm working here on the nissan altima the one ahead on this one also <clears throat> got it all apart just waiting on my gasket set to come in so yeah i'll be making a lot of videos on so yeah hit me up uh press the like button and uh follow me and uh hope to see you guys soon again or comment if you have any comments on my video comments and uh if you have any questions i answer your questions if i can't answer it uh, i'll just post whatever i can about it about it or do some little research about it look it up for you guys if i can find anything <clears throat> all right thank you